Good day, everybody. And here we are on a Saturday night, um, Mardi Gras night. So if you're, you want to strip off half naked and go and celebrate your sexuality, you should be in the CBD right now. We were in there for a while uh, this afternoon, quite a while actually. And there were people half dressed and uh, scantily clad and uh, happy um, all over the place. Good on them. Blah, blah, blah. They don't hurt anyone, and hopefully the police won't be shooting any of them. So let's hope it's a good night, had by all. Started the day off today uh, doing a few pictures of the missus, just formal kind of pictures. I use my big blow up um, background, portable background from the US, and, uh, and took some interesting uh, shots of her this morning and then we went into the CBD because she had the uh, occasion of having to attend a uh, an eye specialist appointment which was scheduled for uh, 345 and probably took place an hour beyond its appointed time but who cares you know that's the way it is sometimes it's been a bit of a drizzly day uh, on and off miserable weather wise but it hasn't been hot and it hasn't been cold and it hasn't been humid and it's just gone half past eight now the temperature's good and the humidity's good it's sunday tomorrow so you know i've got uh, some coke in here and tia maria so something to sort of warm the cockles of my heart um, as i head towards bedtime the, the coke will probably keep me a, Awake, so well, I'll probably end up watching more of the stupid crap that we're watching on Netflix than I otherwise would. But one thing I thought I'd mention tonight, I've always been a reader, an, an avid reader from a very, very young age. Um, I grew up, of course, in England and Scotland, and in England at that time, they were trialling a new education system uh, to teach children to read. And I was a participant, um, unwilling, of course, uh, in this particular trial, and it turned out to be com a complete dud. But it didn't have any real effect on me and my reading ability. I mean, I was reading, as I probably mentioned before, um, Agatha Christie at the age of uh, nine or 10. Um, so I've always been a keen reader, although of late, over the last few years, I don't know, I don't have time for it or the inclination somehow. Um, but I do recall uh, a book being given to me circa 1975, 76 by my father, who recommended it to me. And I've got a copy of it here. This isn't the original one that he gave me. Um, this is a a repurchased copy and if you look at this book you can tell it's pretty old um, I don't know what date um, this particular version was I got this from the second-hand shop for three dollars it's got written in it to Claire from looks like Vinny or Vinay and it's got this weird it's obviously a Christmas present because it's mine on December the 25th and it's got this weird um, picture of some kind of dwarf or elf holding looks what looks like a big cucumber or a dildo. Um, yeah, think of it as you will. So the, the reason why this is an old copy um, is the fact that it was originally published in 1910. Um, uh, and the author is John Buchan. The book is Prester John. Um, John Buchan was a, a well-known author, or relatively well-known author, and he's primarily known for his biggest novel, or biggest story, that's uh, The 39 Steps, which has been, I think, serialized and made into um, probably more than one movie. Uh, Prester John was published in, as I said, 1910. Uh, John Buchan was a Scottish man who uh, migrated to Canada and became, I think, the Governor General 
uh, of Canada, uh, Lord Tweedsmuir, from memory is what he was known as. Um, he was a cunt. Uh, he was a racist cunt. Um, but I suppose he was a cunt of his times because at the turn of the what was the 20th century um, racism and the imperialist sort of attitude of Brits uh, was rife um, it's just one of those things so he can be forgiven uh, in that sense um, the book is a racist book um, and my father being a, a, a very much outspoken anti-racist was fully aware of it when he when he gave me this book. I have read this book, I think I would easily say dozens of times. It's the book I've read the most. I've I read this book every couple of years, I think. Um, it's uh, an incredible story of a young man in Scotland who takes a job in South Africa. Um, as a as a uh, as a teaching assistant, uh, and eventually the, the the he runs a store out on the on the veld, and there is a native uprising um, by the Reverend John Laputa, and the story basically uh, involves um, the main character David Crawford and his involvement in curtailing that native uprising. How dare these black mans you know, rise above their station. It's, I guess it's a book um, written when South Africa was entrenching itself in the apartheid system, you know, the, the Boer War, all that stuff that, that happened. It is a thoroughly racist, racist book and the, the black man is, is um, derided and, and, and portrayed as, as you know, subhuman and, and unworthy of anything throughout. But if you are anti-racist, the, the great, the second character in the book besides the, the white um, main character, John Laputa being the second main character, am I getting lost here? Um, if you're anti-racist, you cannot hope, help, but uh, be in admiration of the stature, of the manliness, uh, of the beauty of this of this character. And I've always thought I'd love to have made a, a, a film based on this book with the late great Sidney Poitier as that main character, that beautiful black. Um, human being, you know, that stunning um, image um, that, that, that a, a Negro, to use the, to use the, uh, the terminology of this book, um, can have. I mean, Sidney Poitier was an amazingly beautiful human being, um, physically and, and of course through his actions. And I've, and I've always thought that he would have been great in portraying uh, the Reverend John Laputa. It is it is a book that's showing a bit of wear and tear there. But I read, got this book, and I can tell you the first line of this book. I mind as if it were yesterday, my first sight of the man. And I was given this book, as I said, 1974, 75, 76. And one of my favorite reading times was in the evening, you know, we'd get get sent to bed early um, in preparation for school the next day, so it wasn't uncommon for us to be in bed at 6 30, 7 o'clock. And in the summer months, with the, the light still coming through the bedroom window, and in the peace and quiet, you know, and solitude mm -hmm. of that moment, I take a book like this and, and start to read, uh, and uh, the magic of reading those words and picturing those images. Um, phenomenal absolutely phenomenal and I loved I love this book from the moment I, I read it um, it's it's a fantastic book I don't know that it's in print anymore um, it's 
pretty bloody old. But it's one of those amazing stories and there's so many, you know, there's thousands, millions of books out there. But I don't think there's, for me personally, I don't think there's one that has this, this you know, there's that, you know, that boy's own adventure stories, you know? Um, there's a hero and there's a, an adventure and uh, there's, you know, there's events and there's outcomes and and this has it all, this has it all. And even as an adult, I, I can still relate to this book. Um, and the, there's, a, there's a point where the, the main character, the David Crawford, um, is at the demise of, of the Reverend John Laputa. And in that moment, you become totally overwhelmed with the majesty of this black man. It's, it's a power, it, this is, you know, we talk about powerful no, novels. This is a book that's got like dynamite. It is so wonderfully written, so thoughtfully penned. Um, it has an energy and, a, and, a, and a, uh, an existence outside of these pages it's magic so i mean if if you want it now, if you want to find a copy of this and read it uh, yeah it's not modern writing it's quaint writing of its times by a by a, a, a scottish man and i i grew up I, well, I didn't grow up but i i spent two years in scotland as a child so you know, there's a, the the scottish um, personality, that culture, I can identify with, you know. Um, but yeah, recommended. Well, that's it. I've dragged on long enough. Nice drink. Have a great evening, everybody. Have a good weekend. Thanks for putting up with the shit again from me. Be good.